Hey guys, the objectives of this video are to look at an example on overcoming internal resistance. So in this example we have a 5 meter long, 0.5 meter wide belt which moves on a surface of water at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. The belt moves at 15 meters per second and we're asked to find the power required to drive the belt. So in understand, trying to understand the question, what this is essentially asking is to find how much power is required to overcome the internal resistance of the fluid, aka the viscosity, to ensure the surface is moving at 15 meters per second. So we know that this is rotating at 15 meters per second. And we know that it is 5 meters long. This water is at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius. And because um, water is a Newtonian fluid, we know that the shear stress um, is equal, is directly proportional to du on dy. And so that means as du on dy changes, um, so does the shear stress in a linear fashion. So the velocity profile of the fluid will be a straight line like that. So at the bottom, the fluid doesn't move, and at the top it moves at a speed of 15 meters per second, and that is in accordance with the no-slip theory. So we assume that at the surface, uh, at the surface here, that it moves at the same speed as the uh, belt because there is no slip at that interface. So we're going to be using the Newton's law of viscosity equation. And so we're going to need to f uh, find mu, uh, which is the dynamic or absolute viscosity. We are given that the temperature of the water is 20 degrees Celsius. So mu at 20 degrees Celsius for water is equal to 0 0.001. You should try to remember that number. It comes in handy um, to make your working out quicker. So we're going to find each of the terms. Uh, we know mu. We need du on dy. So du is the change in uh, speed u. So the change in speed u in the fluid. So it goes from 0 at the bottom here. And at the top, because we're assuming no slip and the power that the belt is being driven at 15 meters per second, at the top it's 15 meters per second. So it's 15 minus 0, which is 15. dy is the change in height. So coming back.